Singapore has a reputation for being incredibly expensive, but even when traveling with kids, we found ways to save money and experience this incredible island nation on a family budget, even when we had to change plans in the middle of our travels. We are the learners and makers. We're here. Sections. For juicy orange? Mm hmm. Most juicy orange we've ever seen. Happy Lunar oh. New Year. It, these are the biggest oranges. All right, uh, test flight Singapore Alpha Mach 47 Mark 2B. Go. Fail. 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 Or not 2B. Okay, so this is a trip paper airplane that comes back to you. <laughs> Give me it works milk. better when you sit down. Watch. Good morning from Singapore. Connor and I are heading out to pick up a couple things for breakfast. And it is a beautiful morning here in Asia. One of the challenges in Singapore is trying to find things that are more affordable. This can be an expensive place to travel, especially when it's not just one person, but four. So one of our goals is to try to get the most out of our family travel budget and really enjoy this incredible city nation while not breaking our bank. One of our first priorities, of course, is a good breakfast. Our hotel here does not have breakfast included, but we went down to the nearby 7-Eleven and picked up a few onigiri and some dragon fruit. This costs us just a few dollars. For drinks, I picked up a little carton of like apple and aloe vera juice for the kids, and we have coffee in the room for me and Jody. One of the easiest ways to get an authentic Singapore experience at a reasonable price is to visit the mini hawker stalls. They are essentially a large food court with many small stalls. Each stall has a specialty. We've got spicy wontons, mini dumplings, pan fried dumplings. They're hot, so we're waiting for them to cool. Chinatown in Singapore is pretty amazing. The guy at the visitor center said the main thing to do is eat, which is perfect. What'd you guys get? Tell me. Western egg. Western egg time. It's a cookie. Ah, yes, finally. With the cookie skin. You shall be eaten. Custard polo buns. Okay. It's not tart, it's just sweet. Tart is the shape. It's not the flavor. Well, it should be tart. <laughs> the mark of a really cool area is all the little things that you gotta look out for. It's our first time coming to the Super Trees and the Gardens by the Bay here in Singapore. We've seen the photos, we've seen videos. This is just dazzling to experience for ourselves.
ch chose to just do the super trees because it's free and and we you can do the cloud forest in the flower dome those are a paid activity but we felt like the super trees is probably enough they are way more incredible in person you see a lot of photos of them but just being up close looking up perspective so cool they look so organic yet also so made i mean it, yeah it's an incredible balance it's a very cool balance. of natural and constructed oh i can't get over it what do we say to wish people a happy new year here in singapore We have opted to come out more in the earlier part of the evening for Chinese New Year's Eve. It's not the big crowds, it's not as noisy, and we got a little bit of daylight to just kind of take in this part of Chinatown before things really kick into gear later. We were finding out what rainy season in Singapore really meant. We spent a few days in the small hotel room and we might have gotten a little bit of cabin fever. He's a big dumpling, dumpling, dumpling. He's a big dumpling, dumpling. He's a big dumpling, dumpling, dumpling. He's a big dumpling, dumpling. <laughs> <laughs> we decided to go ahead and splurge and do the cloud forest because we love the super trees so much and you know we're not here to just spend time in the hotel we, and it's rainy out so we needed something inside. And this is one of the big things to do in Singapore and especially when the weather isn't the best we can go inside. Some of these we recognized because we had them in our house as house plants and these are just huge though compared to the ones that we had at home. Well if you're above you get knocked down the side. Snail begonias. This whole area is just different types of begonias, this whole side. We made it to the India Heritage Center and it is rainy. So this is a perfect thing to do because it's inside and we wanted to come to Little India. So this is kind of our chance to do what we can. Walking around the market area here, even on a rainy day, still really fun. The music, the vibrant colors, all the aromas, 
takes me back to one time I got to go to India. This is a really incredible place and I'm hoping that we will be coming back to Singapore at some point. I could explore in a little India for a long time. I think it's safe to say that we would like to explore Singapore more. To follow our everyday adventures, follow us on Instagram and TikTok. For more detailed itinerary and information about family and accessible travel, go to our blog, learnersandmakers.com. And don't forget to hit subscribe and that thumbs up button, and we will see you next time. Bye! We should come here sometime. Yeah, I'm getting the hang of it. I'm getting the hang of this.